Launching your favorite apps and calling your loved ones has never been easier with the fast fingerprint scanner on the Wiko UView and UView Lite. Configurable up to five fingers. Find out more at my-en.wikomobile.com. Now, if you are thinking to stream your games online or you would like to do Facebook Live with a DSLR or any camera with an HDMI output, chances are you might be looking for a video capture card, which is why I actually bought this one yesterday. So this is Razer's Ripsaw Game Capture Card. So even though it's called the Game Capture Card, it is in fact a video capture card that will actually capture any video inputs from a various of sources. So what's so special about this is that, first of all, Razer is a gaming brand. And another thing is that this is made for streaming games. It supports up to 1080p, 60 frames per second for extremely smooth game streaming without affecting your PC's performance. I'm Warren for KL Gadget TV and today I'm going to teach you guys on how to stream a DSLR's video feed onto this thing via OBS to any streaming platforms. Now the Razer Ripsaw comes in a very simple yet fully featured package. So this is the Razer Ripsaw, a very simple looking box but it's actually quite powerful. And once you take off this foam, underneath here you get lots of cables in the box. So we have an HDMI cable, USB 3.0, a component cable as well as a 3.5mm uh, cable. And we have the component AV cable right here. So that's a lot of uh, cables that Razer has provided here. You don't need to purchase, literally you don't need to purchase any additional cables when you buy the ripsaw so i think it's pretty worth it so let's take a look at the ripsaw's hardware itself so on the top here you actually find the razor uh, logo right here that doesn't light up and on the front here we actually get two jacks one for micro one for microphone and one for auxiliary so you actually get two inputs on the front so Here's an LED light up which shows its status whether it is connected or not. And on the back here, we have two HDMI ports, one for input, one for output. Um, and here is the component um, port and this is the USB 3.0 port that connects to your PC itself. So this is a pretty simple hardware and I actually like it a lot. And as you can see, there's this rubbery, uh, rubbery thing right here that actually avoids the, the rip saw from slipping off the table, which is actually good. But I guess you won't actually need to worry about it slipping off because it will be on the table all the time. Now let's begin with the tutorial. So I have my Sony A7S right here for this demo purpose and I have my micro HDMI cable right here that connects the Sony A7S to the Razer Ripsaw right here. So this is how the Ripsaw looks like when it is successfully connected to a computer. Um, Windows, com Windows computers only, sorry, Mac users, you got to bootload into Win um, bootcamp into Windows if you want to use the Synapse. So you got to download Razer's Synapse software-based driver uh, from Razer's website if you want to make this work. And now I'm going to connect the HDMI cable onto my A7S body and let's open up this flap connect the micro HDMI connector onto this port and the other end, the, standi the standard HDMI connector onto the Razer Ripsaw itself. This is the HDMI import and I'm going to insert it just like this. There you go, easy peasy, no complications. Now on OBS itself, this is what I'm going to do. On the sources box right here, I'm going to right click, press add, and select video capture device and i'm going to name my video capture device as razor rip saw there you go and i'm going to press ok so once um, you select video capture device this window pops up and the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to choose the device um, change it to razor rip saw game capture cut video this is what you're going to do and since we are connecting a camera onto the razor rip saw itself um, it is advisable that you choose a custom resolution because most of the time some cameras do not output the correct signal onto another device's HDMI port. So you gotta take this custom resolution and select um, 1080 uh, with a frame rate of 30 frames per second. That is actually the standard um, stream resolution for live videos. So once you are done and make sure that um, your audio sync offset is zero because we don't want any audio delays because once you connect 
the A7S II, the Razer Ripsaw, all the audio is being output from the A7S audio input, such as the, the boom mic or whatever mic that you connect to the camera onto the Ripsaw itself. So you do not need to um, add on any additional mics onto your computer, computer to make sound. So let's press OK. So once you're done with it already, we are going to press preview stream to test the stream right here. So it's black right now with no signal, but once I turn on my camera, let's give it a moment, and there you go. That's it, there's my camera. It's outputting directly from my Sony A7S. So this is how you are going to connect your DSLR, any DSLR with an HDMI output onto the Razer Ripsaw itself by doing this. And with OBS software, you can actually um, just just um, stream any videos from your DSLR onto any streaming platforms that you want. So next, I'm gonna tell you guys on how to do um, a live stream onto Facebook Live itself. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna use our Facebook page as an example. So if you happen to have a Facebook page, this is actually very simple. All you need to do is to head on to the Publishing Tools tab right here, Head on over to the video section, click on video library, and there will be a live button right here, a plus live button. So once you press on it, you get to have the server URL and stream key, which you will need to copy these things onto OBS itself. So let's open back OBS, click on settings. Let's go to broadcast settings, FMS URL, this is where you paste the server URL of your stream from Facebook Live and copy the stream key. This is technically a, a password for you to ensure that this is the correct stream. So let's just copy and paste again. And next thing I'm gonna ensure that is that the encoder right here is selected as um, NVIDIA NVENC because I'm using a GeForce graphics card inside. So I would definitely want to reduce my um, my processor's load on this in this case. So once I'm done, I'm gonna press OK on OBS. And next, I'm heading on, I head back to Facebook Live and I press on the preview button. All right, it's fetching the video stream and I'm gonna press start streaming on OBS itself. Okay. And it should come out shortly. You just have to wait for a moment. If it doesn't come out, well, all you need to do is to stop again and we are going to start streaming again and it should appear right out onto on Facebook Live. See, it's flashing a video stream and it has a preview right now. It's a little bit slow. It's normal because it takes a while to upload the video directly from your internet connection over to Facebook Live. So yeah, this is how it looks like. So you enter all your details, your video title and press go live and you are pretty much all set. Isn't that simple? So there you go, guys. This is how easy you can stream your DSLRs live stream onto streaming services using Razer's Ripsaw and OBS software. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and find it really helpful. And if you do, do share it with your friends and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more upcoming videos. You can also follow us on the usual social media places and otherwise you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Warren Lee. Once again, I'm Warren for KL Gadget TV and I shall see you soon in the next one.